I just want to bring this to everybody's attention real quick. This young lady right here who was murdered, 33 years old, LaQuisha Holmes. This is who everybody is saying that um, Kanika witnessed the murder of. This is her. Now, I know they say there was a murder, another murder that she was supposed to witness or whatever. I mean, she just keep witnessing all these damn murders. But this is the this is the most outstanding uh, 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 rumor or accusations or whatever you want to call it. This is the most outstanding one to date. LaQuisha Holmes. This is the one that they're saying that Kanika may have possibly witnessed get murdered. So with that being said, they are also saying that this is possibly the reason why she was killed way in Rosemont. Now, as you can tell by my tone and my voice and, and, and the tone of, of the, the, my, my, you know, energy of this whole conversation that I'm giving you, you can tell that I really don't feel this shit. Because for one, why would they wait to... And I know everybody heard this before. Why would they wait to go all the way in Rosemont and do it? Yeah, you heard that. Well, the reason why I'm asking you this is because... Do you not know that they killed this lady right here? In broad daylight? On the street? They killed her in broad daylight on the street. Got back in their car and drove off. One person. So why couldn't they've done Kanika that way? You see what I'm saying? Why they had to wait till they go all the way to Rosemont in front of all the motherfucking cameras and in fact, the person that did this also was on camera too. I, I don't even think he really gave a fuck, but he probably didn't even know. I think it was a church in the area that had a camera. And they spotted them doing it. But still, even in that, they still didn't catch the murderer. So it didn't work. The camera didn't fucking work. But you got somebody in, and, you know, finna go from one camera that could be possibly on the street to a well-known hotel that's going to have plenty of cameras. Why would I wait to catch somebody way down there when I could have just did the same thing that I did to her in broad daylight? Another thing I want you to see is the fact that do y'all see this star on her chest? Y'all see the star on the chest? When you're dealing with a gang environment or a um a gang written city or a location, whatever location, or the city, or, or county, whatever you want to call it, when you're dealing with that that type of uh, area. You have to understand there are certain things that are done on purpose. There are certain things that are not to be done. Okay. This star on her chest is one of those things that are not to be done unless you're real about it. This is a five pointed star in red. BDs rock red and they rock the five pointed star. They're under the five pointed star. Bloods are under the five pointed star. Not saying that she's a blood. I mean, it's been reported that it's not too many bloods in Chicago. That's not where they normally reside. We get it. But what I'm saying is that red five pointed star, there's a purpose for that. All right. There's a purpose for that. Now, with that being said, I'm going to show you this young man. If you don't know, now you know this is Killer. This is uh, whose party, uh, well, this is who also had a party at the hotel with Irene. It was Irene and his party. I've done, I think, a couple of videos on this this one. The uh, When he went down into the, the basement area, the lower level area, and one of those videos just didn't add up to him getting down there and, and leaving. 
But anyway, do you see the red star on his neck? That's a five-pointed star. He is indeed a traveling vice lord. It's on record. I may be able to pull it up for you. Let me see. Thank God. Yeah, because I was still looking at it. This is him. This is his statement. And he's another one saying everything was relaxed and chill at the party. You feel me saying? Everything was chill. He's another one. Again, uh, the police didn't take this as verbatim, so maybe this is the police using this phrase or whatever. But anyway, do you see right here? Is a self admitted member of the traveling vice lords. Now you can read through this whole thing and put that in context yourself. And, and, and you know, if you want to see if that's really him, you know what I'm saying? Because the reason why I'm saying because of the little box right there, you don't know what name is under that box. But I know indeed that's him. They're talking about him. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a traveler, right? What does it say about Irene? Right? He's a traveling vice lord. So anyway. So. Again. If Kanika was a witness to. Her death. And I'm pretty sure you can about connect this together, right? The two stars. Do you think Kanika was already in danger soon as she hit the hotel because of the witness witnessing of this murder? Do you think he possibly helped set it up because she witnessed this murder? You have to remember her boyfriend, Kanika's boyfriend, was a traveling well i don't know if he was a traveling vice lord but he was a vice lord i don't know if it was a tvl i'm not sure but i know he was a vice lord possibly he was a tvl possibly but do you think one of the members or one of the guys when I say guys, I do mean member, member of this particular game. Do you think one of the guys killed the homie's girl over witnessing a murder of a person that was possibly a part of their membership? They don't stick. It don't add up. It don't add up. That wouldn't be a reason. I just can't see my homies, a part of my crew, when I get locked up, my girl witnessed a murder that took place upon one of my members and she get killed because she got she she was a witness no she would be the best thing to happen to me because she can tell me exactly who killed one of my members so i can retaliate i wouldn't kill somebody who can tell me exactly who did what to my people same thing why would killer kill somebody according to I'm not saying he's not the killer, but I'm also saying, why would he be the killer for this reason? For her witnessing this, unless one of the guys are the one who killed one of their own female members. And then where she got killed that, 
her mom said she didn't even be she wasn't even over there like that anyway she don't live over there she don't even you, you see what i'm saying like normally she wouldn't even be there she got set up she got ambushed she got drawn drawn to that area and ambushed it's basically what her mom's saying I would tell you to go and look the article up yourself, but since I'm here, I might as well help you find it. Or let you read it yourself. I mean, look, read this. Chased her down. Shot her 12 times on a quiet residential area. We talking about what it was, execution happened at 10, 30 a.m. It's broad daylight, man. So why would they wait for Kanika to go way out of town where all these cameras at? You see what I'm saying? It's just it's, it just don't add up. You know, I'm, I'm because I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing this story. I'm tired of hearing this rumor, this accusation. I'm tired of hearing that. It's just one of those ghost stories. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, oh, it couldn't. Let's put this in the net of the bud. It ain't this. All right? It ain't this. I'm still telling you the hotel killed that girl. Somebody in that hotel, and it wasn't one of the fellas, it wasn't one of the guys. Somebody killed that girl that either work at that hotel or know that hotel very fucking well. Because the cover up from the hotel is just too alarming. I just don't see these motherfuckers covering up for some niggas when they could have just read the, 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 the whole situation. Fuck it, I'll take the goddamn um the negligence charge and I'd throw a couple of dollars at it and be done with it. But that ain't what they doing. They saying, fuck that. We ain't finna get nobody no money. We don't know what happened. Out of all them goddamn cameras. So somebody linked to that hotel. Very, very linked to that hotel. Whether it's an employee or a friend, family member, Somebody who's very linked to that hotel dig this shit. That's just as simple as I'm going with it. It's obvious. Basically, it's obvious. I mean, yeah, it's easy to put it on the kids, but when you dig into details, you start to see shit that just don't... It don't add up to kids doing this and hotel covering it up when they could have just threw some money at the, the, the damn negligence charge and got rid of the shit. It just don't add up. So we still we still on them. Yeah, we still on the hotel. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Still on them. Just wanted to get to the the core of what happened in that room. Why Kanika was ready to go, and from between that 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 hallway to her reaching down to that lower level. That's what I wanted to get at when these these back and forth lives came out with Shamaya, Irene, and uh, Monifa. You know they said some bell ringing shit. So you know it, it is what it is. I just had to bring this out to y'all, let y'all know, man, this is what was going on and and kind of like, you know what I'm saying, just brief over it and um, kind of, I guess, kill the, the noise from, from this, you know what I'm saying, this is bullshit. But uh, I'm going I'm to scroll through this. I'm going to go back up to the top because it's more, more at the top. But I'm going to scroll through this and let y'all read it for yourself, you know. And, uh... 
I know it's moving kind of fast, but uh, you can always pause it and read it. You know how to do that. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top. This is a mom. Alright, so um, see y'all in a little bit.